Hey guys, Josh Mave here with m &H Training. We are back again with another unboxing video. Today, we have got something I've never seen in person before. Uh, a while back, PSA, Palmetto State Armory, uh, started making their own handguns, and we've got one. We have the PSA Dagger Compact. So, we're going to open this box and see what all we get here. <laughs> All right, first of all, comes in a nice nylon case. And this was a daily deal from Palmetto State Armory. Got a sticker here. So this one came with the gun and 10 P mags. If you look in there, you can see all the mags. There's 10 P mags there. A pretty good deal. Uh, the whole, the gun and 10 mags was 359 I believe. I think they've still got the deal running if you check on PSA's website. But anyway, back to the unboxing. <clears throat> Get a nice nylon case here. Got a little clear plastic ID holder there. Open this thing up and see what we've got. Alright. Okay, up here I've got the owner's manual here. Looks like it comes, we get several stickers. There's a sticker in the box there. We got the PSA dagger sticker here. We got the Palmetto State Armory decal here. This, this handgun is cut for optics. So you got your plates here. Let's take a look at the firearm here. <clears throat> I like the way this is set up. The whole interior of the case is Velcro, so you can kind of adjust this however you see fit. Let's see, we've got a Velcro patch right here. That's nice. It's foam inside. Plenty of storage space there. All right, let's take a look at the firearm. First thing we're going to do, we're going to clear it. Lock the slide back. Slide lock out. All clear. Looks pretty good. It looks, it's, if, if you've seen the 80% lowers, like that a lot of places offered, Palmetto State was one of them, it looks very similar to the 80% lower for a Glock Gen 3. This is the compact dagger. So this one is same height, basically same width, pretty much the exact same specs as a Glock 19. <clears throat> it's just a lot cheaper. You've got the same trigger safety, similar Glock safe action trigger. It's got the high rise sights. It does have the threaded barrel here. Comes with a thread protector. Got that there. The sights are black on black. The texture. <clears throat> The grip and the texture kind of reminds me of a SIG a little bit more than a Glock. Got a little bit higher undercut than most of your Glocks. A little bit different style when it comes to the trigger guard. Does have a little bit of flare, the magwell. Take a look here. The magazine, yep, it's another P Mag, which of these are Glock 19 P Mags. See how everything fits, functions. There's how the gun looks there. It's a nice looking gun. Like I said, as you can see, right there, Palmetto State Dagger. Compact. Nine millimeter, of course. got an extended mag release very basic slide there's nothing on the slide it does have your front serrations like I said it's cut for optics it's got your rail for any accessories takedown is just like a Glock all right let's finish looking at what's in the box here magazine double mag pouch there it only has one in here but you've got the others in the box that it came with. What is this? 
All right, just got your basic trigger lock. Put that back in there. All right, so that's what you get. You get your gun, you get one mag in the case, you get your plates, stickers, and the owner's manual. Yeah, very comparable to a Glock 19. See what it looks like on the inside. So, we're going to double check it. Point away. Click. Push back. Push down. Take that off. Very similar to a Glock Gen 3. I think this is pretty much a Glock Gen 3. O-ring. Okay. Everything looks identical. Put that back on. O-ring back on. Red protector. Guide rod. There we go. Everything here. See everything. Looks identical to Glock. As a matter of fact, I mean, all the Glock accessories, most Glock parts, everything will fit this gun. All right, trigger. Let's see the trigger. Travel. Travel is similar to a Glock. Okay, trigger is not as smooth as my Glock 19. Weight wise, it does fit. It's about five and a half pounds. But yeah, it's not as crisp as a Glock trigger. Let's check the reset. Okay, it's got, try to get it here so y'all can see. It's got a little bit of travel before that click. But it's not bad. Very similar to a Glock. The only, the main difference is just a little bit more travel and to break over. It's not quite as smooth as a Glock, but weight wise, it's almost identical. Looks like a pretty good gun. We're gonna have to give it a try here in a minute. Um, I've also got Alien Gear holster for this. Fits right in a Glock 19 Alien Gear holster, so. Overall, the feel of this gun I like. Slides nice and smooth. Like the extended mag release. Yeah, overall I like it. For the price, if it shoots good, that's hard to beat. Like I said, this one from Palmetto is, I think right now I just looked back on the website, I think it's $359. And it comes, like I said, with 10 P mags. So, I mean, you're getting 10 P mags for a Glock 19 plus the gun, plus the nice nylon carrying case for 360. You, you can't really beat that. We're going to take it to the range, see how it does. All right, let's put this back in the case. I'll hold it up and show y'all how everything looks once it's back in. So yeah, this is how the gun comes packed in its case. It's 
packaged really nice. I like this much better than the standard plastic cases you get from a lot of companies because this is going to work great to carry it out on the range with. This should slide down in the big compartment of most backpacks or if you've got a larger range bag, should fit right in there no problem. So let's go give this a try. Hey guys. All right, here on the range, we've got the Palmetto State Armory Dagger Compact 9mm. We've got five rounds loaded up in the mag. We are going to give it a shot at the five yard mark. See how it does. As you can see, at five yards, we have an extremely nice group, five shot group. Now it's a little bit below the X, but I was expecting that because this gun has the high rise sights on it. So at five yards, I was expecting it to be a little bit low. So it's actually really good. We're going to load it up and see how she does again. All right, that time, I didn't take my time. I was just shooting a little bit faster, see how she did. I was aiming at the eight. As you see, one, two, three, four. Have one flyer right here, but that was my fault. So, still not bad for faster shooting. So, gonna have to put a lot more rounds through this gun to really break it in to see how it holds up. First impressions, this gun shoots really good. For the money, that right there is going to be hard to beat. That's 359 Daily Deal Palmetto State Armory with 10 mags and that nylon case. That's a value. This gun shooting really good. Like I said, I can't give a final thought because I would really like to put a thousand rounds through it, at least 500, to see how it holds up over time. But first impressions are really, really good. Thank you guys for watching. This is Josh May with MH Training. If there's any kind of training you've been interested in, if you're interested in getting your North Carolina concealed carry permit, if, you, if you've never shot a gun before and just want to learn how to shoot, we can do custom one-on-one -on -one classes. We can do private group classes for basic handgun, for basic rifle. We can do private concealed carry classes. Totally up to you. Anything you might want, just check out our website, mnhtraining.com. We hope you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.